Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, in this today video, we are going to talk about packages in Flutterflow and how you can actually use any package uh, in Flutterflow regarding uh, of the version of the package and regarding if the package will actually work or not. Uh, and if you go to the Flutterflow community on the left side, uh, and if you click uh, potential uh, issues, and there is on the right side, you can actually see peanut post. And if you click on confirm list of packages that you cannot use with Flutterflow, or if you get uh, Flutter pub get error, you can actually see a post that I did uh, like four, four months ago uh, from the time that I uh, record this video. Uh, and it's about packages that you cannot currently use with Flutterflow. And the reason with that is about, uh, it's about the dependencies and about their conflicting with the source code of Flutterflow, which is using uh, other packages with dep which depends on with the packages that uh, you are uh, currently want to use. And I list some of the packages over here, uh, but uh, this issue will be uh, overcome very easily uh, using uh, a technique that is actually shown with one of my uh, one of the members uh, of the Vodafone community, uh, and it's great actually that we have this community, and I'm very thankful uh, to the community for also uh, suggesting some ideas that I actually didn't came up with, uh, and I didn't uh, think of that. Uh, but yeah, today we are going to overcome this and we should be able to use any package uh, in Powerflow. So if you want to know how, just stay tuned and watch the video. Okay, so I will disappear in the shadows now as you probably, it's not very valuable to see my face, uh, but we are going to talk about the errors, uh, which in this case is about uh, error failing running flutter pub get, or uh, you can actually get uh, this error, uh, which is a very similar one. If you see error running flutter pub get, like this one, or maybe this one, uh, the like 99% of the time, or let's say 100% of the time, and the problem is about dependencies. And in this case, it's again about dependency and it's about meta dependency in this case. And in this case, it's actually not specified what is the error. But I think this is a, the, because my post is old post from four months ago. I think now uh, the errors in Photophone are more descriptive. So they will actually tell you what package uh, it is failing because. But uh, the solution for that, it's very simple. Let me first show you uh, if, because I actually uh, try to include a custom code for a client today using this uh, package, which is a table calendar. And the version, it's 3.0.9. Uh, uh, and it's uh, actually a calendar, uh, which you can, uh, use uh, to display uh, like dates and uh, appointments and events or anything uh, that you want. Uh, but I try to include it. So let me show you what I mean. So this is my code. This is one of my projects. Uh, I try to include it, uh, but then I get this error, which is the same error Again, it's telling, it's telling me uh, failing running Flutter of get, and it says uh, tempo calendar and then the version of the calendar. And it says where it's failing because of the, in this case, because of the Intel version, which is the international version, which is actually used by Flutterflow. And the Flutterflow, it's using this version of the package and we want this version. And now the other, uh, before that, uh, it was like trying to add this package, but this package depends on another package. So it's like a chain of uh, that 
I will call it chain of that because it's a, a looping chain of that. And you'll keep on adding packages here and keep it's not working. Um, or the other actually solution before that was uh, to use a different version, just to try to use a different version like uh, point eight, point seven, point six, and so on and so forth. And this actually takes a lot of time uh, and it's very time consuming. And let me show you how you can notice the error just from the start. So I'm going to create a new widget right now and I'm just uh, going to show you uh, exactly how you can know this and see the error. So I'm going back and to the package that I want to include. In this case, like I said, it's a tempo calendar. Uh, and then I'm going to say, because it's a tempo calendar, I'm going to say my calendar or my demo calendar, let's say. And then I will click on the green button, which is the boilerplate, and I'll copy to editor. Great. Now, uh, this is the boilerplate for my custom widget or my custom calendar. And then I'll add a dependency and I'll add this dependency. And then I will go back to the package and copy the import and then go back to my custom widget for the flow and then import it like that. So uh, immediately after the import, you can see that uh, there is an error and it says that this is not found and you can see that the, uh, this is underlined and this is normal because i didn't press the red uh, the green button sorry so i need to press the green button over here to update my dependency and now you you saw briefly that you didn't had that i didn't have any errors but now i have the error the same error again and that means this is actually going to fail and indeed if i compile the code, you actually see the same error. So this is how you can actually uh, catch this error. Um, and you can see the compiled is, uh, it was super fast. And you click over here and you can see failing running Flutter Pubcat. Great. So how you can actually fi fix that? So before I show you how you can fix that, there is a great post over here. If you write uh, untraceable dependency error, you'll probably find it in the you know, search bar, which is over here. And then this is a post from uh, Precious Aleji uh, and something like that. I can't read names, you know, about that probably already. And if you go down, 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 there is this, uh, uh, there is this amazing guy, uh, Vahame, Vahome, sorry, Mutahi, uh, which actually has its own channel on its own. He is from Kenya, uh, and if you want, you can follow his channel as well. He actually suggested a great idea, which is to use any. And how we can use any, uh, it's very, very simple. We just go back to the code. And when you write the any, make sure you have space. So make sure you have two dots and then space and then any. Uh, so the, the space is very important or else you get an error. And then refresh the green button again, press the green button again, and then, and then we can compile the code again. We should need to compile it again. And then we should be able to fix this issue or this error. And now you can see after the compiling is done, you actually see that I don't get any errors from the comp compiling, but I still have this error, which is this package is not existing. If I click actually on the height settings and the code analyzer will refresh. So I force the code analyzer to refresh. Uh, and you can actually briefly see that this uh, error is there, but it's gone actually right now. You don't see the error anymore, and we can prove that this is uh, indeed working uh, if you actually include uh, some of the code itself. So if we go back to the package and scroll a little bit, 
down. Uh, there is a code, there is a demo code, which is table calendar, and we have the first date and the last date and the focus date. So let me try and include that instead of the container. Like I should be able to do it like that, and I should be able to format the code. And indeed, you can see that this is indeed working. And if I hover my mouse, you can see all the uh, fields uh, that I can use. Uh, and indeed, this is working. So this is, uh, like I said, a great way uh, to use all the packages uh, out there that are available. Um, it should work with all the packages, now like 95% of the packages. What you have to look after is if the package is no safety. So if you go to versioning, uh, version, sorry, and then you have to check, and then you have to make sure that it is no safety. So as long as the package is no safety uh, and it's Dart 3 compatible, uh, it should be good to go and it should be working. So in this video, I actually explain you how you can use any package. And like I said, thanks to uh, this community member uh, for this step. And like I said, he has his own channel, so follow him uh, in YouTube. I fortunately, I cannot find the channel right now, uh, but you can find it in the community. And before you actually go, I set up this page for you guys, uh, which is uh, where I post my codes and my videos, and you can actually get the code uh, and change the code and use it in your app. So I'm thinking about uh, that this is a thank you page for all the 2,000 subscribers that I have in my channel. Uh, and I'm thinking to actually uh, make something uh, else or something different when I reach 3,000 subscribers. So that would be great. If you haven't subscribed already to the channel, it would be much appreciated. And thank you very much for watching the video. And have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.